Mickey made it. Mickey made what you made, Mickey. Forget about the way it used to be. This is not a damn democracy. We are in a state of emergency, and my word is law. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good vibes, good energy, good people. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And we have everything for you, you know, dress outside of the box, add something original to your closet. Okay, today, this episode is episode three. Now, like I told you guys on my live stream in the morning, if you guys are watching, this episode I wanted to bring to you guys, and it has to do with the karma of art. And the reason how I came up with this, um, I was talking to you guys on the live, and I figured, you know, I wanted to break this down a little more, how, just break it down on a hip hop sense and how just the low vibration music can take your career into a catapult into a wall, a brick wall, just having a stop off, an ending that you don't want. That's a fact. Facts, facts. And it's all because of the music. See, a lot of people, they don't realize how powerful the music is. Yes, they see the profit in it, but they don't see the things that the music might touch somebody or how it made somebody feel. Those are the things that you don't get to see. And those are the most important things. See, what you get from the music and what you put out there should almost balance itself. Now, when I say balance itself, I mean, like, if you put out good energy, you should be receiving good energy back. Now, nine out of ten times, some maybe you might hear in there, you might catch maybe one or two people, maybe not liking your energy or maybe not liking you just yet because of the good energy. And they're just not there yet with their their energy. But for the most part, you have to understand that there is a karma in putting out music that is low vibrational and pulling people down or just making people just bringing the worst out of people and i wanted to connect that with diddy and this whole bad boy situation we see a lot of people um the mistakes that these guys made came from how they treated people and how they made people feel and the things they did they took from people Things that people didn't offer to them and they just felt they used their power to take it away. Like they want to see what you allow, what you cool with, and then next thing you know, boom, take that drink, you're drugged, take that, you're out of it. And these are the things that draw and breeds karma around your life. And in music, the words are so... See, the words are the things that it's going to sell you, it's going to sell your story, it's going to sell, it's going to give the trust in the people if they're going to support you. If you're putting out bad words and negative things like, you know, just revengeful things, it could be anything. Let's start with drill music. When it comes to drill music, it's, it's really, the fire really starts when somebody has a problem with somebody else and the back and forth energy of them two going at each other that's what makes the whole impact be so explosive so that negative energy for example let's just take a situation you have two artists let's just um say they're both beefing with each other and um they're just back and forth they're throwing these words out there you know i want to do this to you and i'm going to smoke this on this op and when they're doing that that energy is going back and forth, but that energy is not just releasing to those two people. It's releasing to the people that's listening, the fans out there, and people are taking that in. And their intake of that energy is, is going to determine how long your career is going to really last. For example, like, say you put something out there and you're telling people how you go about it. If they take those same routes and go about it the same way, that karma surrounds you and the people you put out, put it out to. Say you gave that person a different route, but telling the same story and telling them, you know, if, you, if I did it this way, then they'll have another outlook, not only on you as an artist, but as far as the story and where they can take it, if they're going to put that in their life. Words are powerful and some people use it to connect with people and some people use it to make people do destructive things. 
And what we're seeing in hip hop now is that low vibrational music and just not talent driven, just money driven, maybe hustle driven music. It tends to break the culture and it doesn't lead to anything but destruction. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this to you and tell you there's a lot of artists out here. They are, they are breeding their own karma by the words they put out there. It's almost like spells. They just having people believing in these things. And you see the signs here and there in these music videos. And you say to yourself, like, why are you doing this? If you say you don't believe in it and you don't, why are you doing this? Is there somebody behind the scenes setting up these props and these things for you to do? These are the things that you have to find yourself to get yourself away from. Because just because you feel like it's just a song, what could be just a song to you could be somebody's detrimental point or you know theme music to their death in another instance just because the song doesn't have the right energy so you have to be very aware of that and know that karma travels within evil whether it's evil words p evil people evil souls even if you just if you feel and harbor karma inside of you you can in turn hurt your family just because of your spirit so you have to be very careful about these people and the people that you're listening to do are they are they putting that right spirit out to you? Are they giving you another option? Or are they just making you feel like you just want to go out there and do something hurtful to somebody else because you can't solve the problems that they never seem to solve for themselves? And like another thing, this is something else that's karma related as far as like, you know, just how the karma of your art. And I want to bring another person into play that we were speaking on today's morning show. And it's Chris Brown. You know, I feel like Chris Brown, he's been in, in so many ways, he's been compared to the greats as far as Michael Jackson and him just walking in those footsteps of taking those steps of being one of the greatest of all time. And then, you know, throughout his career, you know, a lot of people make mistakes, but his mistakes have been so much highlighted because of his stature. And you see him make mistakes with um, just putting his hands on people and in, in the past and him trying to be seen him trying to strive to break out of that and show people that he is somebody else and he's grew out of that and what we saw could have been a mistake but then in, as time would go we see things happening maybe I don't know if it's because people are holding them back behind the scenes who could tell you you know what actually is happening but we hear these stories from other people that's around him and it's saying that the lifestyle that he's living is not really standing up to his music and his legacy that we once thought that it would be. And we see things like this and we start to realize, you know, maybe that first person might have been him. And it's something that he has to work on before he gets back into a lifestyle of this entertainment where it breeds for that type of energy. And it could put you back in a space feeling like you're comfortable with it and you can get away with certain things depending on the person. Like, and we're starting to see that, you know, that is the reason why I named this segment, you know, just the karma of art just miss the misusage of art the misusage of not knowing that even when it comes down to like you know pitches these the reason why you see guys like basquiat it's not about his gender it's not about you know who he slept with the reason why artists and and like the andy warhols are so great is because those messages that they left in those pictures those are the messages that stuck with a lot of people forever and to this day we are still dealing with these type of wars and these type of chaos <clears throat> and guys like basquiat and these guys they put that in their pictures and sometimes just staring at the picture you might not see that you might just see um, a whole bunch of scribble and somebody else can find art in that and this is the reason why you know when you put a message out there whether it's easy to read or whether it's digestible you just know that once that message is put out there somebody is going to take it for what it is and have some kind of understanding about it and you should be able to be that way in whatever you do when it comes down to your business your family the way you conduct yourself on an everyday database on an everyday daily basis that's how you should be you know moving and that's the reason why because in my time in my past i've seen a lot of people i've always been the type to be a very i'm a, a higher creative you could say like i always have big ideas and i tackle some of them and some of them i give away some of them you know i just i just they sit around and they never get that chance to manifest but through it all i always found that you know good people usually 
or get misread or misunderstood by people who just are used to that type of lifestyle of taking, taking from people, not knowing that the people that could come up with this and, and can see things different are the ones that we are the ones that have better chances of changing things and making it a better place throughout our originality and the things that we choose not to, you know, follow and stare behind because it takes a lot of strength to be this way. You know, when there's a whole bunch of shiny stuff in your face, sometimes you want to indulge and you want to celebrate, but you have to always remember who you are and the reason why you're here and what you're doing, the reason why what you do. And that's the reason why you have to understand that there's people out here just to make a profit off of you. And then there's people out here that's collecting good karma like myself. And day by day, more people connect and more people see the, the real in people. It doesn't matter if you listen to pop music, hip hop music, or if you like scary movies or drama movies. It all depends on the person, the intake, and how you take things out of situations. And what I see in these times, even on YouTube, I see a lot of people following people, maybe regurgitating stuff. But I look at it like as long as you live by the words you say, then people could have trust in you. If you're just a hurt person and you're just jumping on YouTube and you have these hurt feelings about you and you start spilling off and talking about people, it doesn't make you any better. Because at the end of the day, when those people get to the, the, their mindset where they fix themselves, you're still in this hurt place looking for somebody else to point out their wrongs. So you have to know how to balance your life and actually know how to Im Im implement these type of, this type of living in this life in your life before you go out there and want to point the finger at somebody and tell them how they should be living. Know that how, you li how your living should be solid enough within yourself and other people should be able to feel that within you when whatever you have to say. And they'll know that your truth means more than what you're wearing. Um, it means more than what you're selling, what book you're writing. Your truth means more because you didn't come with anything attached to it. And the reason why I say the karma of art, you have to be very serious with your art. Art is something that how we communicate and it's something that should be taken serious with AI and all these, you know, these machines putting like three heads on your favorite artist or three heads on uh, uh, your favorite animal. These are not the things that's going to change anything. It's just maybe like a quick glance, a laugh here, there. But there's not anything that's really substantial in your life that you can take with you and say, you know, that's a piece of art. So you got to know the difference between what has value and what is only here for the moment. And I think a lot of here for the moment lifestyles are being more highlighted. But there's other, there's some of us that we put our heart into everything we do. And from that is how we connect with people instead of worrying what's going to be today's topic we're more concentrating on connecting you with you guys and trying to make some kind of maybe we can um kind of come some some kind of medium where we can you know meet in the middle and have some, some agreements that we can take on to and reach more people and build from that point on because you know, a lot of people, not everybody comes from a structure. I know I haven't came from a structure where it's like a whole bunch of money splurting around and things like that. But I never let that ever stop me from thinking that I can't do or accomplish or, or you know, excel in whatever I wanted to do. All I told myself is, you know, if I if I get the right education and, and, and I figure things out for myself and I love doing it, I should be all right. And I was absolutely right because... Sometimes you can spot some people from far away and you can just say, you know what, I don't want to be in that club because that club doesn't really coincide with the things that I, you know, I was raised upon and all the people that love me. I would look silly trying to be something that I'm not and people are just watching me just change. You know, it's just, it makes no sense to me. So be who you are and people are connect with you with that way. You know, I see a lot of people more concentrating on how many subscribers they have, how many views they have. To me, I'm like, if I have those many subscribers, my responsibility is held at a higher level and I'm making sure that my messages are clear and I'm making sure that everything is on point and the research is there because you don't want to just be telling people anything on the daily basis because you you wind up in a place where you just this is repetitive. It sounds like everybody else and it sounds like you're not genuine within the things that you're doing and, the, and what you're trying to get out to the people. For me, I'm, I'm not here to stay in and be like this person that's going to be just telling you this is wrong, that's wrong. I really want to bring something to the table that you guys can say, you know what? I learned that from him. I heard him say it and it kind of switched my, my the way my thinking and it kind of helped me out. And those type of thank yous, those type of um, those type of just that connection 
it makes me feel like I, I'm here for the right thing. Not because YouTube is paying me. I, I love the fact that YouTube gives people an opportunity that you can make some money off of the things that you, you know, you, you feel deeply about. But then you also have to see that, you know, it's, it's also other people that are just coming on here just for that. And if you separate yourself and maybe just balance it, you know, watch it for entertainment and then you watch things that can uplift you, you have that perfect balance and, and your life will be structured way better. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to bring this episode to you guys, just to highlight the things that, you know, with music, I have so, it's so many things that we can, there's a, so many people that's just telling you on the daily day basis, like, you know, um, you see hip hop is overly sexualized. As a matter of fact, I'll let, I'll let some of my peoples tell it. Go ahead. So now y'all mad. Y'all mad now because of what reason? The whole time we've been telling y'all, y'all shouldn't dress y'all daughters like this. Y'all had a problem. From elementary all the way up to high school, we telling y'all, yo, y'all dressing y'all kids like hoes. Y'all had a problem. You, you shouldn't dictate what a woman wear. You should shut your mouth talking about women business. But now y'all mad because they in college dressing like hoes now you see your most educated of the bunch you can't tell the difference from a street hoe now y'all mad <laughs> and that's what i'm talking about hip-hop is just overly sexualized you put that type of thing out and you don't realize that all of that energy that you put out there people see you as that and then without within the in, in in a few like within months and months later that's the only thing they see in you and it starts to block all of the things that you're really put on this set on this earth to do and now people are only looking for you because you can shake your behind or or you can get semi-naked on 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 social media without a blink it doesn't make sense don't put yourself out there and don't sell yourself short because there's so much to come in the future as far as making money as far as content creators as far as teaching people on the hand-to-hand -hand basis and as far as just how social media has gone from a platform of just not just putting out information, but also could be a platform of helping people and connecting with people with your, you know, like minds. And that's why I always say good people, they're, good people always show up and good people always come around for me. And I appreciate all, and love all of you guys because not a lot of people have to, you know, be, there's so many other content creators, but people choose to read people and feel their heart. And that's where I feel like I fit in place. And that's how the channel will grow. I'm not going to step on anybody's toes. I'm not going to overdo something just because I want to get this. Um, just all of those things that comes with that, it comes with the wrong people as well. And I look at my channel as a place where people can you know, come have these conversations and you can actually break it down with different people from all walks of life, not just coming from the suburbs, not just coming from the ghetto, all walks of life can meet in these conversations and we can have some kind of similarities. We're like, you know what? I understand that around that time I was doing this, this, and this was how I got to this point. Oh, I see where you stopped at right here. Maybe I could, you know, and that's how the vibrations begins to get higher and higher and higher because when you're dealing off low vibration that breeds karma it brings and it's not good for your art do not add any karma or any low vibrational anything into your art that's what you do that's what god put you here to do when you're dealing with arts i don't mean just arts of paintings i mean arts with music you guys understand what i'm saying do not bring that negative energy into your work because it takes away from what you have going on don't look over at somebody else and say you know what i'm gonna do better than them. i'm gonna take that from them and do this no you applaud them for what they're doing honor them in what they're doing see what they're doing see if you guys can connect and see if you have similarities you go out there you guys build and then together as everybody goes up you'll see the good people rise to the top all right i love you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and the people that had Thing, similar things to say about this whole just the low vibration thinking mindset and the karma of art until next time it's your boy mickey fenty aka mickey made it if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe right now